Hello and welcome all you wonderful, beautiful, and amazing people. I am so glad to have you joining me today in this video and joining me while I create this illustration of the watercolor effect. <laughs> I I mean, in all reality, this is, this is fun. This is one of the more challenging ones in a sense, simply because, like I had told you guys at the beginning of this year, that I, for myself, art goal-wise, wanted to start creating more backgrounds and really start creating more of a full illustration rather than just a focus illustration on the pinup pieces that I like to create and have fun with and that's kind of where this one came into play and where the concept kind of took off on its own. The thought process that I had going into this imagery and I really need to kind of start doing thumbnails <laughs> as just one of those I know it helps um, for most people but for me I tend to like do thumbnails and then go completely opposite of what I even had theorized or thought about doing in that aspect so anyways when that, the thought process that I went into with this piece in particular is I wanted to create kind of like a, a forest spirit or a forest nymph and Go with the the idea of her being kind of by by some water even though you can't tell but she's by some water underneath this willow tree just kind of hanging out and uh, doing her thing there's a bit of a breeze but it's not nothing crazy nothing really too too sway or anything like that and i love the way that this kind of turned out the whole idea essentially started from the aspect of wanting to do the willow leaves and creating these leaf droplets that had this dimension to them that would require a slow buildup and it was it was tedious but it was tedious in a way that kind of becomes relaxing as you do it in a sense so what I had done was I created more so the dropped leaves that are in the foreground first and then went through and started creating the background ones by just laying down the pigment, uh, the watercolor pigment and laying down the design that I wanted and then letting it set for a moment or two and then lifting it so that it became real faint and light and just repeating that over and over again in different places, just slightly tilting it one way or the other to the left or the right so that it was off kilter just enough to create this dimension and build up and then going back and placing a, a darker amount of pigment over the same areas and just building this depth of making it look like there's just a bunch of these willow leaves dropping down all around her and in the background so I feel like this is also one of my more like favorite backgrounds in that sense where there's just it's there is and isn't a lot to it I guess and that's also why I didn't do the full page in this aspect I created this circular background so it would more so be a condensed illustration and all of your focus would be in the center of this page and, it, and the imagery that is created without being too busy in the background because the the paper is filled in a hole because I, I tend to find that unless you're doing like a full painting that sometimes when illustrations are full page illustrations and they have really busy backgrounds that it's hard to find your focal point for the image itself and that's kind of where I was trying to condense it down and figure out how I wanted the imagery to come across and so I went with this circular concept in the background because it's one that I, I've i seen a lot of artists do and one that I tend to find I enjoy the most because it kind of gives you this really strong silhouette for your pinup art when you're placing it in front of this simplified background and I really love the way this piece turned out in all honesty I 
did a bit of a mixed media feel with this one so not only did I use watercolors and I used uh, mostly my Koi travel watercolor set and um, mixed it in one of my bigger palettes that I have so because I tend to make my palettes very messy but I also like to leave the the mess essentially that I have created behind so that I have those colors in a way for my next illustration and so I needed to pull out my bigger palette that's just kind of been chilling since Inktober and start using it again and so it, I had a lot of fun in that aspect so I used the watercolors I used the Tombow watercolor brush pens um and I really, the primary one that I used is 636. It's the purple that you'll end up seeing later that I genuinely love and I think it's fun to play with. So the number is 636 in case you wanna try it yourself. And then on top of that, I also used uh, a singular Prismacolor colored pencil, not a cold erase this time, but a colored pencil in Tuscan Red. And I used a Pigma Micron for some little, small, very dark um, line work that I wanted to really pop to kind of add an additional focal point to her face in this illustration. So I used the Pigma to line her eyes create the the bigger pupils because I went with like a big iris for her eyes today to give her that more so cartoony fairy tale kind of look in a sense and then use also the black for the darkest points on the face which tends to make everything come together a little better which is the nostrils and then the corners of the mouth and I think overall the flow of this came together beautifully I left her obviously mostly in the nude except for her little leaflets that go on her ladies <laughs> to hide the one part that could end us all right <laughs> not really but seems to be the way the world is but yeah I mean it, it was so fun to create and just build this character concept in my head and add the colors and see where it flows and I think overall I was going for in a sense like a, a three tone image where I had this kind of purple I had the green and then I had this orangey tannish skin tone to kind of create the that cohesive image um, all together because I do love like orange tones with purples as well as greens with purples so I was kind of just working towards this imagery as a whole and I added a little bit more orange later with a Tombow it was almost by mistake but it kind of worked out because it created this orange shadow in the background on her leg and I really liked the way that that kind of brought everything together and using the pigmas to kind of highlight her eyes and give her those big doughy looking eyes I think really made the image that much cuter because I'm not gonna lie excuse me before I lined the the eyes and everything and really started doing the line work with the colored pencil even I was hesitant about where the piece was going. I wasn't sure about how I actually liked the imagery. And granted, a lot of times that's when it's not completed and you're kind of lost in this moment. But once that kind of came together, I felt the imagery came really nicely and I ended up falling in love with it. And then I went and added these green leaves in the background and I was like, oh, I actually don't like these leaves falling because I was trying not to do a busy image and then I just added all of these just to see and it made the image busy. So uh, what I did was I cleaned off one of my bigger watercolor brushes that I had been using and started just really 
laying down just clean water and lifting up all the leaves that I possibly could. I left a couple near the bottom because it makes a little more sense being that they're near the floor where she's sitting and the faint leaves in the background isn't nearly as bad because it doesn't take away from the imagery at all. But overall, I think she came out pretty cute. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well. Remember to share the love with your fellow people and remind someone that they're beautiful. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you all so much. Have a fantastic day, take it easy, and as always, I will see you in the next video.